Good day to all of you. In the past few classes, you have learned a lot of topics like line tool, thickness of a line, text tool, rectangle tool, color box 1, color box 2, fill with color, color palette, etc. Do you remember what you were taught in the previous classes? Now, power on your computers and open the MS Paint file. In today's lesson, we all will learn many commands like copy, paste, cut, undo, redo and then we will also learn about the oval tool. By using oval tool, we will make some pictures. We will also then learn about saving files. Do you know what a command is? A command is like a shortcut method of telling the computer what to do. In other words, you use the computer by giving it commands. Do you know why we use the undo command? Using the undo command, you can set right any mistakes that you might have made while drawing pictures in your MS Paint file. Do you know what is the shortcut command for undo? Control plus Z is the shortcut command for undo. We will now learn the use of undo command by watching this video. Let us now watch this video and learn how we use Ctrl plus Z for undo. First, select the line option from the toolbox and make these three lines as is being shown in the video. Now, hold the Ctrl button with your finger of the left hand and press the Z button on the keyboard with the right hand. Once you press the Ctrl and Z, you will see that the line, last line gets erased. If we again press Ctrl and Z, the second line which we had drawn will also get erased. As is being shown in the video. And lastly, once again, if we press Ctrl plus Z, the first line that we had drawn also gets erased. So this is how you use Ctrl plus Z for the undo command. Can you tell why we use the redo command? We use the redo command. With the redo command, you can bring back the work you had last erased using the undo command. Can you tell what is the shortcut command for redo? The shortcut command for redo is Ctrl plus Y. Redo works exactly opposite to what undo does. So, while you will use undo to erase something from your drawing, you will use redo to bring the erased part back. With the help of this video, we will now learn to use redo. We had just used undo to erase three lines from our drawing. Now to use redo command with the finger of your left hand, keep the control button pressed and with one of the fingers of your right hand, press Y once. You will see that the line we had erased in the end appears back on our drawing. If you again press Ctrl and Y, the second line that we had erased appears. And finally, if we repeat this Ctrl plus Y, the very first line we had erased also comes back. Do you know why we use the copy command? With the copy command, you can make many copies of one picture or a word that you have. This could simply be a line 
or a rectangle, etc. Do you know what is the shortcut command for copy? The shortcut command to copy is Ctrl plus C. However, after copying, you need to use the paste command with the shortcut command Ctrl plus V. Do you know what is an oval? An oval is like a stretched circle. We will watch this video and using the oval tool, we will learn how to use copy and paste. So, first we will make a drawing of an oval by selecting the oval tool. Bring your cursor to the drawing sheet after selection and holding the left button, uh, press down. Just drag it so that the oval is made. Now, we go to the selection tool and click with the left button and in the or from the options we select the rectangular selection next we bring our cursor to a point near the oval that we have already made and by keeping the left button of the mouse or on the touchpad we drag a rectangle on top of the oval that we have made. Now, if we press with the left hand the control button and the C key with the right hand, this oval uh, that we have made gets copied. But when you do control plus C, you don't see any change in your drawing. However, when we now press Ctrl plus V, which is the con command for paste, you will see that a new oval appears in your drawing sheet. We will show this to you. We are going to press Ctrl plus V and we see that an oval will appear as a copy of the original oval that we have made. So this is how it appears. Now we can take our mouse or our pointer to this uh, portion to the uh, uh, drawing that we have just pasted and we can drag it to the area where we need to bring it. So once we bring it closer to our original oval, you will notice that the original oval gets hidden. To correct this, we go back to the selection tool and from the selection tool, we will choose the option which says transparent selection. So once we click there, once we use the transparent selection, you will notice that our original oval reappears like this. Now since we have already copied the first oval, if we keep doing Ctrl plus V, the copy of the first oval will keep appearing and we can drag it to wherever we want it in our drawing. So like this, we can keep doing a Ctrl plus V which is for the paste command and keep bringing the ovals in our drawing wherever we want them. So we are continuing to use Ctrl plus V Ctrl plus C was the copy command which we just used once and now to get more and more copies we are just using Ctrl plus V. So like this we can use uh, Ctrl C for copy and Ctrl plus V for making uh, the paste command copy and paste. So you can remove this drawing erase this drawing by Ctrl plus A plus delete. Next, we will all learn about cut and paste. Do you know what cut means? Cut means that you can remove or cut out a picture from where it is and take it to another place of your choice. Do you know what is the shortcut command for cut? The shortcut command for cut is control plus x. Cut is also used 
with the paste command control plus v let us watch this video to see how we use cut and paste we will now watch this video and learn the use of the cut and paste command again we are going to use the oval tool in order to learn the cut and paste command so we select the oval tool come into the drawing sheet and by keeping our mouse or uh, touchpad left button pressed we drag and make our oval then we click on the side to remove the dotted lines and now we want to cut the lower portion of this oval so we need to go to the selection tool watch the video we go to the selection tool and select the rectangular selection then we come close to the oval that we had made and keeping the left button on the mouse or the touchpad pressed down we drag a rectangle by which we select the lower portion of our oval now we use the control plus x command which is the shortcut command for cut and once we use control we press control with our left hand and press the x key on the keyboard with our right hand the lower portion of our oval disappears so this is how you use the cut command you already know that for paste we use control plus v so we when we do control plus v our cut portion reappears by pressing on the left button of the mouse or the touchpad we can drag this to anywhere in the drawing that we want so we can drag it here and leave it here or we can move it to the bottom of the original picture just like what we had now you will notice that when we are moving the when we are doing a paste and moving the lower cut portion on to the original portion it the original portion is not getting hidden this is because we had already selected in the selection command transparent selection if we remove the transparent selection then when we move the when we move the copy on top of the original oval the original oval portions will get disappeared so we have to remember that when we use the selection we have to use the transparent selection if we do not want the original oval to be hidden like this you can use the control x for cut and control v for paste in order to remove this drawing or to erase this drawing you will all use control a plus delete look at the picture in front of you carefully this is a picture of an oval look at the given picture and tell if you can all make this picture let us learn to make this picture by watching this video so first we need to select the oval tool watch the video carefully select the oval tool select color one as green and then drag an oval like this next dark brown color as color one and drag an oval here to make the mouth in the face next we have selected color one as black and we have made a small oval here we select the selection tool rectangular selection and do a control c to copy and a control v to paste remember that when we bring this to make the first eye it will make the green line disappear to make the green line appear again we select transparent selection next we keep doing a control v and make the other eye now we do a control v again 
and bring that to make the hair on the face. So we will now be continuously doing, we have once done a control copy, control C to copy and next we are only doing control V to make copies to make the paste of that copy and we are just moving that to make the hair. So we continue this, we pick another copy by pasting and bring it here. We keep bring another copy and paste or uh, paste it there and bring it on this to make the hair. It is very easy once you start practicing it you will find it very easy. Remember that to drag the copy that you are pasting on the left top of the drawing sheet you have to keep the mouse uh, left button or the touchpad left button pressed and then drag to where you want to bring the copy. So like this, we are going to complete one set of here. We take one more copy paste and bring it here. We do one more control V paste and then drag it here. And now we want to make another set, some more here on top also. So we make one more, we do a control V and then drag that to the top of the hair like this. Watch the video carefully and you will find that it is easy to make this picture of a face. We are continuing to do control V and once the paste happens, we bring, we are uh, continuing to drag that paste to where we want the hair. We are making the hair like this and we will continue till we have got all the hair made on the face like in the original drawing. Like this, this way. We want some more, so we do a control V, another a copy gets pasted. Then we bring it by uh, transferring it here. So, so we are dragging it to where we want. So this way, this picture of the face gets completed. Look at the given picture and tell if you can make it or not. You will make this picture using the fill option from color box 1 and color box 2. Let us take the help of this video to learn how this picture is made. In this video, we will learn how to make this picture with many ovals. Select black as the color box 1 color. And then come into the drawing area and drag this oval here like this. We go and click on the side to remove the dotted lines. Go and change the color to dark brown. Go into fill and use solid fill. Remember that color 2 is white. So inside the ovals white color will appear. Drag a, another oval as is being shown in the video. Then we go and select color 1. We will change the color 1 to dark blue. And drag another oval here. Notice that inside this oval, because we have selected color box 2 as white, the color remains white and the other ovals get hidden behind it. Again, we click on the side to remove the dotted lines. Select another color as color 1. And drag another oval. Like this. Watch the video carefully. Again, we are clicking on the side to remove the dots and the dotted line. Selecting a different color. Purple as color 1 and dragging another oval here, like this. 
Again, click on the site to remove the dotted lines. Go here, select the light green color as color 1 and drag a small oval here. One more time, we select grayish color and drag an oval here. A small oval, a horizontal oval. One more time, we go and select the red color. and drag another oval like this. So this way your picture of many ovals gets completed. And now using the method which has been taught to you, erase this picture. Look at the given pictures and tell if you will be able to make them or not. This picture also requires you to use fill option and color box 1 and color box 2. Let's now take the help of this video to learn how to make this picture. So first we need to select the oval tool, go to fill option, solid fill, select the option. Notice that we have chosen both color 1 and color 2 as the same and we drag and make an oval. Now we change color 1 and color 2 both to the same color. We are choosing dark blue. Come back to the drawing area and make another oval as is being shown here. Once again, we will go back and change both color 1 and color 2 both being kept as the same color. Remember we want both as the same color. So we come back here and we draw this oval here. One more time. We will be changing both color 1 and color 2. This time we are choosing black color and we make a small oval here like this. Again we go back and pick blue color as color 1 and color 2 both the same color and we draw an oval here like this. One more time the same color 1 and color 2 we choose and we draw an oval like this. So this way our drawing gets completed. This is with solid colors and oval tool. Now go ahead and erase this picture also using the method you have learned earlier. Now you all have to look at this picture and make it all by yourselves. Once you have made it, show it to your teacher. Let's now take the help of this video to learn how to make this picture. Let us watch this next video and learn how to make solid ovals. We will need to select the oval tool from the toolbox. So we select that and we select both color 1 and color 2 as black. Also select solid color from the fill option. Come into the drawing area and drag the first oval. Go back to the color palette and change both color box 1 and color box 2 into a different color and drag an oval here like this. Again we make another small oval like this on top and now we have to make small small ovals inside our black oval. So we just keep dragging and these small ovals keep being made in our picture like this and like this again here one more here so since we have selected both color 1 and color 2 
as the same color the boundary of the oval and inside of the oval both are appearing in the same color so like this we are just dragging again and again and making small small ovals you will find this drawing is very simple just like that here one more here so this way your drawing gets completed and now today we will learn how to save our files by watching this video first of all take your pointer on the file option as is shown in the video click on the left button and a box will open wait for some time Click with the left button on the save option in this box. One more box will open asking for file name. As is shown in the video. Type in your file name here. as is shown in the video and click on save this will save your file and the name of your file will appear in the title bar on the top of the screen after saving the file do not make any further changes in your drawing If you do need to make any changes then you should save the file again In the next class you will appear for a test okay In this test you will need to make pictures using the tools that you have already learned about In today's class you all learned how we do undo redo copy cut and paste you also learned how with the help of the oval you can make some pictures and you also learned how to save files in the next class you will all give a practical test so you must all remain present for tomorrow's class thank you